Alright guys, let's enter the basement Dino Dungeon and check this out, okay? So today we have lots of cool stuff. We have three brand new Danger Pack figures right here to be reviewed. We also have some brand new Jurassic World mini blind bags right here. We're gonna be taking a look at this Triceratops which I finally got it, okay? And of course we'll be opening two more of these captive eggs in the search for the Velociraptor Amber Hatchling and we finally have this which is our mask so I'm gonna show you guys like my entire collection of the options and also the mask collection right here okay so it's gonna be an epic video let's go hey guys I'm Dan and welcome back to the basement Dino Dungeon yes we have an epic video today but before we get started Follow me over to Level 2 Jurassic World Midlands to pick up all the different dinosaurs for comparison. Hi guys, welcome back to Level 2 Jurassic World Midlands, okay? So what we are going to do is to get the entire, all the danger pack figures into the box. Next, let's get all the set options right at the back into the box as well, okay? And each of these larger set option species right here. And one species of each Prehistoric Flying Reptile Alright guys, welcome back to the Dino Dungeon As you guys can see, I have lit everything up very very beautifully right here on the floor So let's begin our review and comparison video Alright guys, so let's begin Let's start off with the very first figure of the Shinwanosaurus Danger Pack so Shinwanosaurus is basically a dinosaur discovered back in China during the Middle Jurassic period. It is a dinosaur closely related to a Matrial Cantosaurus, okay? So let's get this out of the pack. Um, where is my pair of scissors? Let me try to find it. It's right here. You guys know I have lost my, you know, very, very reliable pair of um, yellow scissors I have no idea where it went okay so yep so we have to settle with this black scissors which is not as powerful and as strong as my previous one come on Dan why are you telling us about your scissors okay so let's have a look at this really beautiful feathered theropod okay you can see it has feathers on top of this body let's try to rotate the tail of course you're able to rotate the tail the legs can move, you can rotate the legs 360 I suppose The arms you're able to move them up and down but you're not able to lift them You know right up like this It comes with a movable jaw and it looks pretty fantastic when it comes to the detailing Of course it doesn't have the pole claws painted which is kind of a pity Next up let's have a look at this code, this QR code Please scan this and have this you know, add it to your collection. Pause the video and scan this, okay? Alright, I am going to scan this figure as well. So, let's see. Alright, Shinwanosaurus right here, as you guys can see, looks very, very cool. Wow, the way it moved, it looks like a raptor. Yeah, you can actually see. It basically lives in the uh, very beautiful forest, I would say. Alright, let's take a look at this. So, it was discovered in China right here. I am pretty sure it doesn't weigh the weight of a pig. It, it is, that is too light, I feel. Okay, so let's have a look at this one as well. The AR feature. Alright, wow, it's a really huge one. Let's scale it down to a much smaller size so that you guys can have a closer look. Really, really beautiful. Yep, that's a Shinwanosaurus for you guys, okay? Alright, next we shall take a look at one of these mini blind bags. Okay, one dinosaur from, um, not too sure where, it was part of a Europe, actually sent me some of this, so I've never seen them before. So let's have a look at this, okay? Let's open one of these packs up. Let's check out what's inside. Wow, it's a mini figure. All right, and it seems to be a Tyrannodon, and it has some kind of like suction cup right here, which I think you're able to like, Stick it onto your table like this. Check this out. All right. So you can pop it onto um, the glass, as you guys can see. Yeah, it's pretty cute, I would say. Very adorable. Of course, it doesn't look like super high quality, but I feel it's kind of like cute as well. Let's open up another one. 
Right, let's open up another one. Let's open six of them today. Hopefully, you are able to get a new figure, a different one. Wow. What? Another Pteranodon. But this time, it is a different, you know, colored Pteranodon. So you guys can see this is a green one and this is a blue one. Pretty cute. Let's move on and open one of these captive eggs right here now. Right. Let's open one of this captive collection. Hopefully, we are able to get, you know, the Velociraptor hatchling amber version. Alright, let's open this up. I'll not be opening the slime because um, I intend to keep the slime, but let's open this. I'll try not to peek to know, you know, what dinosaur is actually inside. Let's just pour the contents off. Yeah, this is going to be exciting. Let's have a look. All right, let's move this aside. Oh, it's a Charyptosaurus. Okay, I think this is good, but I, of course I'm hoping to get um, the Velociraptor hatchling. So Charyptosaurus is known as the Helmet Lizard. It is a dog built dinosaur, which is closely related to, you know, Iguanodons, Atmontosaurus, um, Oranosaurus, Parasaurolophus, and you can see this is basically the collector's card. It has a killer rating of 2. Yes, very very deadly. An intelligence of 5. It's a pretty heavy dinosaur, I would say. And right here you can see Charyptosaurus on court. Very nice. I really love the coloration of um, you know, this Charyptosaurus. Hopefully, we are able to get a Mattel Charyptosaurus soon. That'll be awesome. Okay, next up, let's have a look at this really, really, really rare Battle Damage Triceratops. I don't even know um, if this actually has existed and, uh, until someone told me. And um, yeah, I went on a search bot and I finally found this. It is a beautiful Battle Damage Triceratops. We actually have the green version, but apparently this yellow version is actually the one which is like super super rare okay we're gonna have um, a look at all the different self options later on okay after this so let's place this right back let's have a look at the next figure which is a pietniskisaurus i'm not too sure whether i've got the pronunciation right but i think i've got it right pietniskisaurus right here okay all right so pietniskisaurus is actually known as the pietniskis lizard it was a dinosaur discovered in Argentina in the Jurassic period, okay? It is also part of the Megalosaur, Megalosauridae family, which is similar to the Shenhuanonsaurus. So they are some sort related as well, okay? So let's get this out of the box. I really love the coloration of this. It looks really vibrant and really colorful. Uh, really love the green and of course the orange highlights on the frill, or, or, I mean the crest, and of course around the eyes. I think uh, it makes it look really, really beautiful. All right, let's have a look at this. Right at the back is basically the same. We have um, all three of them right here. But I'm not too sure whether if this Nothosaurus is actually the same coloration as the one that we have. So if you guys have this one right here, let me know down below whether it is the same one as our current Nothosaurus, okay? So let's have a look at this. So Pianiskisaurus right here, it comes with two crests which reminds me of the Dilophosaurus. The face definitely looks a little bit like a T-Rex, I would say. It comes with a movable mouth. The arms can be rotated as per usual. The legs can be moved as well. The tail can be rotated. But I don't think you would want to rotate that because it doesn't really look good. And it comes with, you know, some kind of like short neural spine bones that reminds me of an Acrocanosaurus as well. So, Pietniskisaurus, part of the Megasaurus. Megalosauridae family, which is, you know, the same family as uh, where Shinonosaurus came from, okay? Very nice. Oh, of course, you guys will want to scan this in your effects app. Pause the video and scan this, okay? Let's scan this one as well. Alright, so I've scanned the Pietniskisaurus into the effects app and you can see it is looking very cool. It is a moderately large boot dinosaur i would say oh it comes with a game as well we can actually play this game maybe on more than our other channel our gaming channel so let's have a look at some facts it basically weighs a width of about two picks which i think is not that heavy um so i'm definitely sure that you know it, it weighs much heavier 
let's let's have a look at the AR feature, okay? Let's scale the dinosaur down. And you can see, wow, it is very, very close to ours. You can rotate it like this. Really beautiful, I would say. You can tap on it as well. Can you tap on it and hear it raw? Apparently not. Okay, so, yep. That is all for the Petniskisaurus. Let's move on and take a look at other items, okay? Alright, next item is actually an old item. I've always missed out on this mask right here. This is actually from the Camp Cretaceous Dino Escape series. Of course, it also has the Jurassic World um, edition. So this is basically a face mask and um, it comes with a set of teeth on top and of course the teeth inside as well. You can wear this and strap this little band you know, to your chin and once you open up your mouth, the mask will open up as well, which is kind of cool. Alright, I'm gonna show you guys like some of our mask collection because we have to tidy up our collection of masks. Alright guys, check this out. So this is basically my collection of masks. We are going to do, I mean, have a quick look at all the different masks later on. But first, let's grab hold of this one and do a quick comparison. Alright guys, so you can see, this is basically the green Tyrannosaurus Rex mask. It's basically the same sculpt but with different paint scheme. Of course, the labels are also um, different. I intend to keep the labels because if I display them without the labels, it doesn't look that good, I feel. Alright, let's move on to other items. Next up, uh, hopefully we are able to find the other dinosaurs. Right here, I think we have like Ankylosaurus. Um, this seems to be like a little T-Rex and this one seems to be a Baryonyx and this is definitely blue. So let's have a look at this. Hopefully we are able- What? Another Pteranodon. This is actually very, very discouraging. But this Pteranodon, Pteranodon seems to be in better condition than this one for sure. This one seems to be- this one could be the glow in the dark version, guys. It could be. I'm not too sure. Let's turn off the lights. Nah, it's not. But I'm pretty sure this is considered like a rare version. Probably. I'm not 100% sure. Um, let's open up another pack just to be sure that, you know, we are actually getting another new one. Oh my goodness. We are getting all Pteranodons. This is actually super, super annoying. Very, very annoying. Okay, what about, how about another one? Let's open up another one. I'm gonna try to open it, open this as a, oh, finally guys, this one is cool. This one is cool. It's made of harder material. It's made of plastic instead of rubber. And um, I'm pretty sure this is a baryonyx. This is, this one is nice. I like this one. This one is very, very cool. Okay, very cool. So yeah, I can't wait to open all of them, but you know, let's be patient. Let's open up another one of these captive eggs right here, okay? Okay, let's get it out. So here's the slime, slime aside. And let's open up this pack which says JP. In case that you guys do not know, this is actually the Jurassic Park logo, which looks very, very cool. Very vintage looking. Tear this open. One, okay, it feels really small to be honest. It's definitely not the Velociraptor. Okay, after it's the Joe Sternberger. I actually felt the wings. Yep, Joe Sternberger, which is kind of rare. Okay, Joe Sternberger. Just pop in the head. Okay, what does the name mean for a Joe Sternberger? Do you guys still remember? Let me know down below. So check this out, gliding Joe Sternberger. Okay, Jurassic Park 30th anniversary figure right here. In case that you guys have not seen this. Okay, this is basically the entire collection of, um, you know, Wave 2. And this one is the one that we are hoping to get. All right. All right. Um, before we actually move on to the next figure, just wanted to show you guys like a quick comparison of the Joe Sternberger right here. Okay. Very nice, just gonna place this one right here. All right, let's move on to the next figure. All right, I promise you guys to have a look at um, different Ceratoptrians, so let's go. All right, let's take a look at three Ceratoptrians first, okay? Zuniceratops, Ineosaurus, and Cosmoceratops, okay? So let's have a look at the Zuni Haunt face, which is right here. This is um, from the Strike Attack 
very beautiful figure. There are actually two Zuniceratops from the entire Jurassic World line. Okay, let's place the Zuniceratops right here. Ineosaurus is basically known as the curved nose lizard, okay? So it also comes with the scan code right here. This is actually a relatively new figure that was released a couple of months back. And of course, we have the Legacy Collection Cosmoceratops right here, which I can't remember what the name actually means. So comment down below. Next up, let's take a look at some prehistoric flying reptiles for comparison. Okay, so we have the Tapi Jara right here and the Sunga Ripterus right here as well. And right now, we actually have a new species to add to our collection, which is awesome. And you can see this prehistoric reptile actually has a crest, which is very, very huge. And of course, it reminds me of the Tapi Jara, okay? It is actually known as the Tupan Dactylus. So we shall have a look at this prehistoric reptile together and uh, find out more facts about this. So the Tupan Dactylus is actually known as the Tupan Thinker in reference to the Tupi Thunder God. It is closely related to the Tapi Jara. It is in fact part of the Tapi Jarid family, okay? It was discovered in Brazil in the early Cretaceous period, okay? Alright, let's get this out of the box. It looks pretty cool to be honest. Okay, so there you go. Tupan Dactylus, wow, the head is actually very, very big. Way bigger than the Tapi Jara, as you guys can see. And of course, it has plenty of similarities. It comes with a movable jaw. I really love this crest. It's kind of like really beautiful. The paintwork on it is really, really amazing as well. Of course, the detailing is pretty cool as well. You're able to move the wings up. And I heard you can actually move the wings in such a manner that it is actually walking on the ground. So let's try this. So of course, you can move the head up, rotate the neck up, and do it this way such that it is you know it feels like it is walking on uh, on land very nice for sure of course you are able to move the feet as well the hind legs okay and it comes with a scan coat in a form of a little flap right here just lift it up and you are able to scan this in your effects app so let's scan this one as well All right let's try to scan this hopefully you are able to Sometimes it will take a long time, okay? So you can see I'm struggling to get this into the um, Vex app. Still not working. Maybe it's not too clear. Yeah, there you go, finally. So let's have a look at this together. Two Pendectalus, of course, you are able to play a game of it, I suppose, which is to catch the um, two Pendectalus. There's no way, there's no way absolutely no way that this creature which is almost as tall as a human weighs the same weight as a cat this is definitely a mistake i'm pretty sure a cat weighs about you know probably like two to six kilograms there's no way that this is only so light this is a huge prehistoric flying reptile yeah i'm pretty sure it's wrong so you can you can see it was actually discovered in uh, brazil and uh, let's have a look at this, the AR feature, let's scale it down right here. Yeah, and you can rotate it as well. Very, very nice figure. Yeah, 100%, it doesn't weigh the weight of a cat. I mean, let me know down below if you guys like disagree with me, okay? <laughs> All right, let's have a look at two more prehistoric reptiles, flying reptiles. Okay, so right here, we have a Ramphorhynchus. You know, they are known to have outward pointing teeth which is kind of like you know really funny of course we have the super famous pteranodon which you guys are extremely familiar with which is known as the toothless wing next up let's open up more of these blind bags hopefully we are not getting another pteranodon let's have a look at this okay i feel it's something bigger hopefully it's not a baryonyx yeah seems like we are getting the same figures you know repeatedly which is kind of like sad but i think so far this baryonyx is the best figure among all that we have so far so right now we only have three different versions you know pteranodon glow in the dark version pteranodon and of course um, the baryonyx right here so let's open up another pack 
Okay, let's see what we can get from this pack. Oh my goodness. We are really getting the same figure over and over again. But afraid not because, you know, I still have a couple of this packs right here. This is, oh my goodness, I think this is another Pteranodon. Guys, this is um actually quite sad. <laughs> okay, let's move on to our next item. We're gonna do a comparison of the mask, okay? So let's have a look at two more masks. Alright, we have the Velociraptor mask right here, which is the um, brown version. And we also have blue right here. So very nice additions to our mask collection. Next up, uh, I've actually brought plenty of um, sauropods, sorry, theropods to do comparison, so let's do this. Alright guys, so I've brought some of the latest ones, okay? Alephosaurus right here, Austroraptor, Genodexirus, and Moros Intrepidus. So this is basically, these are basically like the new ways of, um, you know, the mini theropods, Elephosaurus looks really nice. It also has some feathers right, right on top of his head. And of course, this is our latest one, Shinhuanosaurus. I think this one looks absolutely incredible, especially with the feather detailing done on his body. And Genio Deck series, this is from the Strike Attack pack, which is very cool as well. In terms of the coloration, I definitely prefer it to be much more vibrant. This is the Morris Intrepidus. This is perhaps, you know, one of the older ones. And of course, Austroraptor, it's also a new addition that was released just a couple of weeks back, which is awesome. Okay, let's move on and take a look at more Ceratopsians, guys. All right, guys, we have a Styracosaurus right here, which is known as the Spike Lizard. Um, and of course, we have the Protoceratops right here and the Pantoceratops. This is actually from the um, Dino Escape. Dino, Dino Escape, I think. Yeah, very big, huge size um, Ceratopsian. Two more. This is basically the Pachyrhinosaurus, Rorivor. Quite a rare figure, I would say. And this is the Nasudo Ceratops. Okay, very cool. Which I think is known as the Nasudo's Horn Face. I can't remember the exact name. Two more. Diablo Ceratops, which is really, really beautiful. This figure is really beautiful. It's a wild raw figure. So you can actually twist this button and the head will actually move along. So you can see it actually has plenty of horns on its face. Okay, one, two, three, four, and two false horns uh, on each side of the face right here. Okay, very, very cool figure, I would say. And here's another one, which is also very similar. Um, the Ceratopsian that actually saved Owen, you know, from the flowing lava. If you guys remember the scene from Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. So this is basically a Sinoceratops. And it is actually a raw striker. Okay. We actually have plenty of different um, Sinoceratops. In fact, we have three different ones. Okay. Let's move on and take a look at more Theropods. All right, before we actually move on, let's open up two more packs. Hopefully, we are able to get, you know, a different one. Oh yes, finally guys, finally. We've got blue. This one is adorable. Yes, blue is definitely looking very good. Okay, so I think we are still missing the Parasaurolophus as well as the Ankylosaurus. I think after that, we basically have the entire set. This one definitely feels bigger as well, so hopefully it's an Ankylosaurus. Let's have a look. Okay. Nope, it's not. It's not a Pteranodon. How many Pteranodons do we have? It is getting annoying. <laughs> okay guys, more small-sized theropods for comparison. We have the Extreme Damage Silarus right here. And um, if I'm not wrong, this is also from the Danger Pack. I'm not too sure, I can't remember. And this is Rugops Primers, which is known as the Rinker Face. And a Strike Attack Carrerasaurus. I think this figure looks very, very beautiful in terms of the sculpt. It is a huge improvement, you know, from the previous Herrerasaurus. And I think the Shinwanosaurus is equally impressive. So, very cool. 
All right, let's move on to more setup options. We have a Nasudo Ceratops baby right here, which can be found in Jurassic World Dominion movie. We also have the Raw Striker. Oh, this is a Sound Strike. Sound Strike Triceratops right here as well. We also have two more. Styracosaurus, which is from the um, Savage Strike series. I really love this one, I think. Um, this one, it has a very contrasting color scheme. The red on the crest, on the crown, actually pops really well, you know, with um, the light gray um, body, which is awesome. Next, we are going to take a look at two more masks, Therizinosaurus as well as the Giganotosaurus right here, okay? So both are amazing masks. So I'm very happy. I'll be putting all the masks back onto the shelf. I'm gonna show you guys how it actually looks like, okay? Two more prehistoric flying reptiles species right here, Dimorphodon, which can be seen in Jurassic World, the very first movie. And of course, Quetzalcoatlus can be found in the latest Jurassic World Dominion movie. So Quetzalcoatlus is basically like a very, very huge prehistoric flying reptile. In case that you guys do not know, it is as big as an airplane, a passenger airplane. Do you guys remember the scene where it was attacking the plane from a berth? and it was as big as the plane. So yep, Quetzalcoatlus is probably one of the biggest, if not the biggest, you know, prehistoric flying reptiles of all time. Very cool. All right, two more theropods to show. Moros Intrepidus, a repainted version right here. I mean, it's not a repaint. I mean, it's a, you know, different color scheme. And this is basically Gassosaurus, which I know, apparently this is one of the rarest extreme damage figures out there. This one is also one of the very rare ones. So we managed to get both of them, you know, in our collection, which is um, uh, very, very incredible. Really, really grateful to have these two figures in my collection right now. But I kind of said that, you know, the pain on um, this Triceratops is actually very, very worn out. So it's kind of sad, but it's okay. I think we can touch it up, you know, by adding some paint onto the horns. That will fix the problem, I feel. Alright guys, two more Ceratops options, Protoceratops and the very first Zuni Horn Face. I think this was actually from the Danger Pack last time. Uh, was it a strike, strike Pack? I can't remember. I think we have this um, still in its packaging. Okay, so I beg your pardon, it's actually from the Wild Pack. As you guys can see, we still have this in its original packaging right here. Okay, let's take our last mask for comparison. This is basically our Indoraptor mask. But too bad it doesn't have the label on top, so it feels a little bit incomplete. We also have, you know, this uh, blue electronic mask. If you lift it up, it will roar. And of course, this is the um, T-Rex version, which is uh, very cool as well. So I'm going to be placing all the masks back onto this shelf. going to clean this shelf up, and uh, hopefully we have space to put all of them together. Alright guys, so I'm going to open two final packs right here. Hopefully we are able to get the Ankylosaurus and the Parasaurolophus. I really like this one. I think this one looks so. Oh my goodness, there's also a T Rex right here. So there is like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven to collect because, you know, the Pteranodon, it has a green version right here. So there are still, we are still missing quite a few of them. So let's try our best to get. Oh, cool! Wow! Dimetrodon! So, wow! Which means there are actually plenty of these minifigures to collect. I am quite impressed. Okay, so let's have a look at this one again. Hopefully, we'll be able to get a, you know, a different one. The packaging seems to be very beautiful. You can see the T-Rex right at the back, the Conotaurus right here. So, this one is definitely very, very beautiful. Let's go. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. We, we've, we've got another Pteranodon. This is so disappointing. We have way too many Pteranodons. Okay, so I think we are more or less done. I have two more Theropods to show you guys before we can actually call it a day. Uh, Genodex series, um, Extreme Damage, and the um, Adiphosaurus right here, which is a, you know, a prehistoric Sunacid closely related to um, uh, the Dimatrodon. 
Okay, so you guys can see. Uh, yeah. All right. Good. So what I'm gonna do right now is basically to give you guys some updates. Okay. Okay guys, you can see the review table is in a huge mess right now So what I'm gonna do next is basically to clean this up I'm gonna put all the mask back I'll probably show you guys a quick update I'll take some photos for the thumbnail uh, and, um, and put all the figures back into their respective shelves An update for Saturday's video is, got, is gonna be another very epic video Because we have this one finally guys this is basically the JP Jurassic Park 93 Classic Pack right here. Yeah, I'm gonna be unboxing this on Saturday. And this set actually comes with plenty of items. It comes with Alan Grant, which is awesome. And it also comes with a lot of accessories and a new Galley Mimers, which we're gonna do a comparison with the uh, entire Galley Mimers um, set. It also comes with a Velociraptor, which is like a baby version. So this set is definitely something which I am looking forward to. Yeah, you know, I was going to open this today, but I thought, you know, maybe we should have. We should, maybe we should keep some of the new figures for another video, okay? So just stay with me. I'll show you guys how the mask shelf looks like, okay? All right, guys, check this out. So I've basically placed every single mask back onto the shelf, okay? This is basically known as the basement dino mask shelf, okay? It is just a new name that I've come up with right now, basically, for the mask shelf. It's looking very good. So I've basically managed to put every single one of them back up and um, it's still looking pretty neat. Okay, so you guys can see, I've basically taken um, the photo from my thumbnail and it's looking very nice. So the thumbnail that you are looking at is basically, you know, just taken after the video, okay? Thanks for watching this. I've basically packed all the figures back into the box and um, I'll be, you know, putting all the figures back into their respective shelves, you know, after after this video okay so thanks for watching this i will see you guys on the saturday for the next one saturday is going to be epic another epic video because i'm going to show you guys like you know my collection of galley mimers and of course we'll be you know opening more of these eggs and more of this blind bags right here okay so let's do this on saturday i'll see you guys goodbye